Uh, I'm fascinated with coincidences, and I think it's because I'm a magician. Yes, I'm a magician. Nine inch bowling ball, four inch briefcase. <laughs> It's, it's my job as a magician, it's sort of my job to make uh, coincidences happen. That's sort of one of the things that we have to do. And I have a favourite coincidence, which sounds a bit weird, but it's true. It concerns a girl called Laura Buxton, who in 2001 was 10 years old. And she went to her grandfather's golden wedding anniversary. It was also her grandmother's golden wedding anniversary. <laughs> That's not it, obviously. It's better than that. No, she's at the Golden Wedding Anniversary. She's 10 years old. She gets a bit bored. Uh, you know the feeling. I can tell from your faces. She looks up and she sees some red helium balloons decorating the hall. So she gets one of them. She ties a little bit of ribbon to it. Then she gets a red envelope. And she writes on the envelope, if found, please return to Laura Buxton and her address. Then she goes outside and she lets it go and it falls on the floor. So she tied it to the balloon. <laughs> Hadn't thought it through. And she let it go. And the balloon drifted off and she forgot all about it. Now, ten days later, there's a farmer in Wiltshire. That's not the coincidence either. Wait, I'll tell you when. This farmer has a field that has a little hedge separated it from the cottage next door. And he's in his field one day and he notices something in the hedge. It is, of course, a deflated red balloon with some ribbon and an envelope. So he picks it up and he reads the envelope. If found, please return to Laura Buxton. He doesn't bother reading anything else. He doesn't need to. He goes to the cottage. He knocks on the door. There was a microphone on the door. It was a fashion. A lady answered the door because somebody had knocked. Another coincidence. The guy says, I found Laura's balloon. You see, the girl who lived in the cottage was also called Laura Buxton. She was also 10 years old. You're taking the mick now, aren't you? <laughs> so anyway, the parents of Laura Buxton number two, I don't know what her surname was, could have been Buxton. They get in touch with the parents of Laura Buxton number one and they arrange to meet. And sure enough, they meet a few days later. Now, when the girls meet, they are both wearing blue jeans and pink jumpers. Another weird coincidence. Both of them had no fashion sense. <laughs> ah. And then they get chatting to each other and they realise there are other things that are similar about them. They're both the same height. They both have brown hair cut into a short bob. They both have a black Labrador dog three years old. They both have a grey rabbit and they both keep guinea pigs and their guinea pigs have got similar markings on their hind quarters. Arguably one of the most remarkable coincidences in history. Certainly one of my favourites and it's true you can Google it when you get home. Obviously not now, that would be annoying. <laughs> you can do it now, you're already annoying. But um... <laughs> Tonight, I'd like to do a little a coincidence effect, and a coincidence effect using a gentleman from the audience. And I need somebody from the audience now, maybe a gentleman from the audience who needs a little bit of a look in his life. And to be honest, I've never had so much choice. But the, there's a fellow right down here at the front. You there, sir, right in the front. What's your name? Simon. Simon, excellent. Simon, would you come up the steps and join me? Give Simon a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hi, Simon, how are you doing? Come and stand over here, Simon. Where are you from, Simon? Uh, London. London, excellent. You don't want to give us the exact address. That's a good idea. <laughs> and and, and what, do you, what do you do for a living, Simon? I'm a computer programmer. You're a computer programmer? Wow. Could chat to you for minutes. I really could. <laughs> Look at you. And you, you're trying to hide how dull you are with a trendy little T-shirt, aren't you, eh? And your little combat trousers that used to be in four or five years ago. <laughs> trying ever so hard. And what's your name again? Uh, Simon. Well done. I wasn't sure you'd be able to do that without looking at a program. Good. <laughs> And so, um, what about hobbies, Simon? What do you do for fun? Do you work out? <laughs> <laughs> do you work out? Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't. You've got a thread hanging from your sleeve. It's your arm. It's your arm! <laughs> Just come a bit closer, Simon, because I thumb with the left. That's, good. That's too close, Simon. And uh, so, what, what, do you, what do you do for fun, Simon? Uh, cycling. Cycling? Yeah. Wow, little computer cycling man we've got here. <laughs> Excellent. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to play a little game, me and you. It's like a little coincidence effect, all right? It uses two decks of cards. I've got a blue deck of cards and I've got a red deck of cards. What I want you to do is just to name one of the decks for me. Red. Wonderful. Now, name one of the decks for you. Blue. That was easier the second time round, wasn't it? <laughs> Excellent. We will swap decks. We will swap decks halfway through. But just take the cards out of the box. I'll take the box off you. That must be getting quite heavy. Wonderful. And... Uh... <laughs> He's laughing on the outside, but on the inside, he hates me. Now, listen, Simon, what we're going to do is you, you're going to be like the audience representative. You've got to check everything on their behalf, make sure everything is above board, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check my cards. I'm just going to spread through. I just want you to check that all my cards are red cards. I'll go all the way through, make sure I haven't got any blue cards hidden away in here. 
All right, if you think I'm hiding anybody, you, you just tell me. Make sure it's just, you yep. know, all the way through. Every single card, a red card. Are you happy with that? Yep. Remember, you're doing this for them. This is a card trick. All right, some of the people up at the back won't be able to see the cards. If you turn sideways, they might not see you. <laughs> That's why I'm behind the mic. And uh, would, you, would you check yours now, Simon? Make sure yours are all blue. Angle them down so the audience can say, That's beautiful. You're like a little Debbie McGee, aren't you, Simon? Eh? <laughs> I bet you've got a leotard on under there, haven't you, Simon? And a little bit too tight from the way you came up the stairs, I think. It's, it's never easy, is it, when you're between sizes? Are you happy? Yep. Wonderful. The, the, they're, all, they're all blue, yes? Wonderful. We're going to check the faces of the cards now, Simon. I want you to do mine first. Do mine first. Don't try and multitask, Simon. All right. Make sure all these cards are different. I'll go through. Now, you might see two cards the same, Simon. There's two fours there, but different suits, a, a club and a spade. Make sure you don't see any cards that are the same value and the same suit. Remember, you're doing this for the audience. They are relying on you to check every single card. If you think you've seen one, you tell me. We go back and have another look. <laughs> looks good to me. I haven't finished yet, Simon. <laughs> They're relying on you, fella. All right. Are you happy? All different? Yeah. Wonderful. We'll check yours now to spread through them. That's great. That looks good to me. <laughs> it's annoying, isn't it, when people do that? <laughs> are you happy, Simon? So. Of course you are. Now, we're going to play a little game. This is the coincidence bit. We're both going to shuffle our decks. You can shuffle yours any way you like. I'm going to shuffle mine any way I like. All right, and, and then what we do is we shuffle in them like this. What I want you to do, Simon, when you get the urge, whenever you feel like it, you just say stop, and we both stop shuffling. How long can you go for? Pardon? How long can you go for? We go for as long as till you say stop, Simon. <laughs> stop. stop. You sure? No. You want to carry on a bit? You do know they haven't come to see me. You know that, don't you? <laughs> are you happy? Well, you're not. You are. Wonderful. We're going to swap top cards, Simon. I'm going to give you my top card. You give me your top card. Now, Simon, what are the chances of the card that you've just given me matching the card that I've just given you? What are the chances of these two cards being the same? One in 52. One in 52. Well done. You work with computers. You did that without any binary, didn't you? Have a look at the card. What card did I give you? Show everybody. What is it? Queen of Clubs. Queen of Spades. Queen of Spades, well done. And the card you gave me is also the Queen of Spades. Ladies and gentlemen, there they are. Yeah. Thing is, Simon, when people watch a magician, they try and work out how he's done. You see, that's what they try and do. This, the, this, the intelligent people, and, and, and this fella, what, what they do, they, they analyse it and they think this is what they think. Maybe yours are marked. Maybe mine are in an order. When I shuffle mine, I watch what comes to the top, I bring the same one to the top. That is possible, I am that good. So we're gonna make sure I don't do that, Simon. We're gonna do the same thing, but this time, you're gonna face that way, I'm gonna face this way. All right, we're gonna face back to back. And we're gonna shuffle, not touching, not touching. <laughs> not touching, Simon. I wasn't sure you were a computer programmer, but I am now. And we'll just give him a little shuffle, Simon. You shuffle yours, I'll shuffle mine. And whenever you feel the urge, you just say stop, and we both stop shuffling. <laughs> stop. You sure? Turn round. Simon, do you want me to shuffle mine a bit more? No. Thanks. <laughs> That's an ardent Tim Vine fan in the audience there. Do you want to shuffle yours a bit more? <laughs> Correct answer. We're going to swap top cards. I'll give you mine, you give me yours. Simon, what are the chances of these two cards being the same? One in 51. One in 51? You did it! Well done! It is one in 51. And yet the blue card you gave me is the nine of hearts. The red one I gave you is also the nine of hearts, ladies and gentlemen. The thing is, Sam, what, what people think now is they think that maybe I've got another Queen of Spades or another Nine of Hearts. Maybe loads of Queen of Spades, loads of Nine of Hearts, so it's easy to make them all end up the same. But if you look through here, there really are no other Queen of Spades, really are no other Nine of Hearts. Other Queens, another Nine, so but no Queen of Spades, no Nine of Hearts, all the way through to the end. Are you happy with that? Yep. Wonderful. And uh, it's the same with yours. You can look if you like, but there's no real need. One thing that hasn't happened is you haven't had a chance to shuffle my deck and I haven't shuffled yours. So I'll take your cards from you. That's wonderful. I'm going to let you have my cards, all right? So now you can shuffle mine, I'll shuffle yours, and uh, hopefully everybody will be happy. Back to back. <sighs> <laughs> Whenever you get the urge, Simon, you just say stop. <laughs> stop. 
Stop, was that? Yep. Never heard you. It was quiet. All right. Um, we'll swap top cards. I'll give you mine. You give me yours. Chances of these two cards being the same is? One in 50. One in 50. That's right. And yet you've shuffled these and these, and I've shuffled those and those, so we both shuffled the same card. The, the, the blue card I gave you was? Three the three of diamonds. diamonds. And you gave me the red one, which is also the three of diamonds. So ladies and gentlemen. Now, the thing is, Simon, I could go on doing this all night, and sometimes if I don't like the audience, I do. <laughs> but the thing is, um, people think, well, I'm, I'm still in control of things. You know, I'm still controlling one of the decks of cards. Even though you check them both, and you shuffle them both, and you decide when to stop, people still think that I'm doing something. So listen, we're going to do one more thing, but I'm going to make my decision before you make your decision. I'm going to be committed before you are. I'm going to let you go back to your seat. Everyone's going to give you a huge round of applause. Give me a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Simon! Thank you, Simon. Good man. Simon, we didn't arrange anything beforehand. You didn't know this was going to happen, did you? This is, no, jolly good. Inside the envelope is a piece of paper, Simon. It's a folded piece of paper with an image of one of those playing cards on it, Simon. The Queen of Spades, the Nine of Hearts, or the Three of Diamonds. For the first time, you've never thought about this until this moment, would you name either the Queen of Spades, the Nine of Hearts, or the Three of Diamonds? Are you sure? Weird. There it is. Thank you. Woo! Thank you. Thank you, you are kind.